the dragon came without warning and burnt Valbrexus to the ground. Before the city can lick its wounds, King Aldebrand sets off to get revenge. LDL, a ronin, follows close behind. Their journey to the dragon is filled with challenges both natural and supernatural. The dragon has killed countless men before, but with Brix's army at the gates, could this be the end? One thing is for sure. It takes a man to kill a dragon. But what does it take to kill the dragon slayer? Hi, I'm Devin Kraft, and drawing Dragon Slayer has been a labor of love of mine since I started drawing in 2012. I was able to launch both Volume 1 and Volume 2 via Kickstarter, with both projects being chosen as staff picks and the second project being chosen as pick of the day, which is really cool. I also got to interact with a lot of fans, receiving super awesome fan art, and someone even cosplayed as one of my main characters, which is absolutely awesome. I've been working really hard for the last few months finishing up the 58 pages that comprise Dragon Slayer Volume 3, and after tons of work, I'm really excited to present it to you. A lot of people over the course of the campaign were asking, why don't you color it, why don't you color it? So I took that to heart and took the profits from the first two books and invested them in local DFW talent Space Gun Studios who were coloring the entire comic, all 110 pages of it. So the collected edition is going to be in full, vibrant, amazing color, which I'm super excited to present to you. I take your investment seriously, and whenever I do a Kickstarter, I always try to get my rewards to my backers as soon as I possibly can. Um, the second the Kickstarter campaign ends, I begin immediately getting all the rewards ready for print, ready to be shipped, and ready to be sent out. The past two Kickstarter projects that I've done were turned around in 24 days and 28 days respectively. This is where I need your help. Kickstarter has funded some of the most unique and interesting comic projects out there today. Traditionally, publication and distribution of comics were controlled by gatekeepers. That limited indie comic artists to self-publishing a small run of comics, begging local comic stores for shelf space, traveling to comic conventions, and carving out space on the internet. Small artists are basically limited to the people they can meet in person. By using Kickstarter, comic artists can sneak past the gatekeepers and go straight to you. You decide if and how much to fund. We only get your contribution if the total goal amount is reached. We came up with awesome reward levels, and you can check those out by scrolling down the right side of the screen. Thank you for taking time to learn about my latest project. For more information, please follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr.